Hi, my name is Sophie Summers, and this is a cross-dressing lifestyle channel, and welcome to my wig madness review. Now, I've called it that only because my mystery shopping got a little bit out of hand, to say the least. I've got lots and lots of wigs here, and the real reason being is that I received one quite distressing email a couple of months ago from somebody that said, you know, they were so disappointed with the wig they bought off of Amazon, it literally made them cry. Now, granted it wasn't an overly expensive one, it was about £25, but from the two photographs I saw of the one that was actually displayed by the shipper and the one that was received, I can see why they were so upset. So it kind of inspired me into doing what they used to call mystery shopping. So I went to several sort of sites and had a look at loads of different, what I would call economy range wigs, the sort of cheaper end here. And I wanted to see if they actually resembled what they look like in the photographs. So, as I say, I've got a lot here to work my way through. Hopefully, I'm not going to bore you to death with them because wig reviews can be sometimes a little bit tedious. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop them on and show you different angles and different views, probably with some different outfits on as well. So you can actually see what they look like and I'm going to see if I can find the original pictures just to see if you would concur with me that they do look the same or they don't. So, without further ado, let's get into this. Shall we?
In summary, we had a look at 11 different styles of wigs there, short, medium and long styles, different colours and shapes and sizes. The majority of them were purchased through a company called Top Wiggy and I think, to be fair, they actually surpassed my expectations. If I compared them when they were on myself to the actual pictures that were presented on the site, I think they had a pretty good reflection. Although in saying that, a lot of them didn't have actual wig lengths on them on the sites which can be a little bit misleading because you don't quite know how long they are but that's the only negative I could find about it. What I wanted to do at this particular point was just to show you a couple of features of the wigs that will seem to be common right the way through every one of the 11 I looked at and that is obviously the cap construction. I've called it open sort of cap wefted in other words there are lines along here which is a typical cheaper way of producing wigs because they are produced in strips and just sewn in. The good thing about this particular type of construction is it does allow the air to get out. So, you know, it does keep your temperature down quite well. The other feature that I thought was quite striking was the fact that when you had a look at a lot of the wigs along the crown line here, it looks as though there's a scalp in them. And I don't quite know how they produced it, but it does look quite real. So I think that's quite an added benefit or bonus really to make these wigs look a lot more expensive than the purchase price indicates. As a whole I was very surprised with the overall quality of each and every one of those wigs and I would actually give them all a thumbs up and they were pretty accurate to their descriptions as well. What are your thoughts? Um, I don't know which one's your particular favourite. For me the first one was very very fetching. I like the style, I like the fringe on them and I thought it was very nice. Um, please feel free to put your particular wig favourite downstairs in the description below. 
So, as I say, that, that concludes the 11-week review. There will be some more coming up in the near future, I hope. But in the meantime, all I need to say is thank you very much for tuning in. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please consider doing so. Please stay gorgeous. And until the next time, bye-bye.